Hey guys, this is Josh West with Cellar Door Sound Production. I have a really, really cool plugin for you today, uh, JST Bus Glue Keys. Super, super simple plugin to use, and I have some really cool examples for you. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we have BG Keys by Joey Sturgis Tones. This is part of their Bus Glue series, Bus Glue Keys. Just great plugin. I really, really love it. Just got it, and it's very fast and so simple to use, especially if you're not used to compressors or you're just learning compressors. This is perfect because, I mean, there's not very many knobs and you can truly get a, a great sound out of this guy. Uh, so real quick, just a back, little bit of background on this session here. Uh, this is from a musical I did a few months ago. Uh, great musical, great arrangements with big horn sections and string sections and... Uh, in order to do this, we didn't we didn't have uh, the capability to do live musicians for the show um, with the, for the sound that we wanted. So we had a live cast and no no tracks for for the vocals, but all the music was recorded in a studio, and then we mixed it in the venue. So in order to do this, we actually had to mix everything down to stems in the studio. Uh, because there were just so many tracks, and for the time that we had allotted, we just were not able to <laughs> do that in the venue. So we mixed everything down to stems the way we liked it, and then brought it into the venue, and then mixed those stems into uh, in surround with surround reverb, and it was super fun. So when I got this plug in, I knew this was the perfect session to try it out on, because bus glue, that's what the stem is. The stem is, is really a bus uh, of instruments. So this is the keys stem here. There's some um, piano, there's some kind of bells and xylophones, some soft electronic type keys in, in here. Uh, really nice stuff. So let me just show you what I have before the bus glue. Um, all I have is this EQ, a little bit of 2.4K out, just a little harshness, and then I had sort of a resonating 1.6K in those bells that we, we took out. Really simple, and then uh, Neutron, everything above 2.4K here, I'm adding a little bit of tube saturation uh, just to really, it was it was just to get it to kind of, I was missing some high end in, in a lot of these tracks once we brought it into the venue, so I just kind of added a little bit in there to make it punch a little bit more in the mix. And then these other plugins here are bypassed. I kind of uh, automate bypassing and unbypassing certain plugins throughout the show. That way I'm not automating just one plugin. Uh, it just was a lot quicker to do it that way. So all we have is this EQ and that, that Neutron. And then we have the JST BG Keys. So to go through this really quick, the first thing you see is this meter. It looks like kind of like a VU meter. This is showing your gain reduction. So your gain reduction you're getting from your compressor here. So minus one, two, three, five, seven, you'll see the, the uh, meter moving here. And then we have mode, tamed, we've got glued and baked. So I really liked tamed for, for what this uh, track gives me. This, this tamed is, it seems kind of like soft compression. So sort of a, a medium attack, medium release, uh, a pretty low ratio. As you go up to glued and baked, the attack times and release times seem to get a lot faster, and the ratios definitely get a lot higher. Um, but tame was perfect for me. And then you got saturation here. So this is just basically the amount of saturation you want. Warm was perfect for these keys. Hot was just basically doubling that saturation. So I have it on warm. And then we have the comp knob here, compressor knob. So this goes from zero to 100%. This just shows you the amount of compression you want, basically, on your, your track. So uh, obviously zero is, is less. I have it about 65%. I probably would have that a little bit lower, um, but we mixed everything really quiet in this show, in this section of the show. Uh, so I was kind of, I was adding a little bit more there. And then my favorite thing about this plugin is the mix knob here. So this is basically the percentage of the, the plugin you want mixed in with the dry sound um, of, your, of your stem or your track. It's so nice. It's basically parallel processing or parallel compression. In the old days, you would have to, to get the same effect, you'd have to duplicate this keys and then on one track, add a lot of compression, the other track, keep it dry. And then you kind of mix in both to get the sound you want. But a lot of companies are starting to add these mix knobs and it makes it so easy because... So basically at 
this is like the plugin being bypassed at 100%. This is, this is the full processing that you're getting. So I kind of dialed it in to where I liked it and the amount of compression I wanted, and then I slowly brought in that dry signal, and uh, it, it allowed me to kind of have more compression to control the sound, but, but made, it almost made it sound like there wasn't as much compression because I have a little bit of that dry in there too as well. Really cool. And then we have our output knob here. So this is just the gain output after your plug-in. Um, so you can go plus 12 dB or minus 12 dB. I just have it at zero here. Oh, if I can get back to zero, there we go. And then the only tricky thing about this plugin is you can see when I have my cursor here and I hover over this little screw, a minus 38 comes up. So what that is, is that is your threshold for your compressor. So I have it at the default state, but if you find yourself really pushing up your compressor to max and you, you want more, you're not getting enough, you can come in here and dial in your... Uh, your threshold here to get the amount of, of compression you want, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to reset everything back to where I had it for this track. And let's hear, so the, the stem keys here are soloed without the plugin engaged. And then now let's unbypass this here and let's hear let's hear what this plugin's doing. So you can instantly hear when we engage this plugin that those those big piano hits um, are being being tamed. Exactly what this plugin is saying, it's kind of just just kind of lowering those hits a little bit and allowing everything underneath it to really come up um, and just it just it, <laughs> it sounds more glued. I mean that's exactly what this plugin's doing here. Uh, so I want to play you with the rest of the music and you can really hear the full effect of this. So I'm going to bypass the plugin and play. Uh, the stems with it, with all the music. All right, and then let's unbypass this. So this is the full processing with BG keys and all the music. So for me, this really glued that stem together. Um, it kind of settled those those attacks on that piano a little bit more, and allowed everything else to kind of kind of come up and 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 piece together uh, to really sit really nicely in this mix. Uh, so yeah, that is BG Keys by Joey Sturgis Tones. Go check it out. It's really quick. This took me like a minute and a half to get my settings for what I wanted. So I, I'm excited to use this on future stuff and thanks for watching. All right. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Super easy. As I've said a billion times, you should go check it out. JoeySturgisTones.com. It is the BG-Keys. BG-Keys. JoeySturgisTones.com. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I'll see you next time.